You want to play. You need me to play with you. Go get it. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, welcome back to Haywire Homestead. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. If you like what you see, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. My son tells me I have to make sure I say that. <laughs> Today we are making sweet potato fries. Yay, yes. Like and, and, and Gabe was making waffles. You made waffles, not pancakes. He's crazy. All right, so what we have, let me turn this around. Okay, so I've got some sweet potatoes. I've got a huge bin of them in the closet, and I really need to start getting them taken care of because, as you can see, they are starting to grow. Now, for some reason, last year, I thought I mainly did slips off of white, pota white sweet potatoes, which um, this one here, the small one, which I'm going to use to make starts off of. See, it has white flesh. But I wound up with a ton of purple ones. Now, the purple ones taste like sweet potatoes. They're just purple. So it's kind of weird. And most people in my family just can't get past the color thing. However, I find them delicious. They make so amazing I. sweet potato fries. So we have a amazing commercial grade sweet potato maker, uh, or well, potato, uh, French fry maker. This was purchased as a Christmas gift for myself from Layman's Hardware. So you can look them up there. And what I'm doing is I'm peeling them, washing them, and then I'm just cutting them to size that I want. Really should be using my tripod for this and I'm not, so my bad. So I'm gonna cut them to this size. Uh, Gabe's gonna, and then you, it, it's easier if you come around this side, Gabe. Mm -hmm. I was watching a video and actually if you are, mm -hmm. if you come <laughs> more forward, which we're having trouble with our tile counters of it sticking. I think if it anchored itself better, it would work better. Um, and then we're gonna, in a second, try a trick that my mom just told me about, where you put the sweet potato in the microwave for about 15 to 20 seconds before you French fry it. Try and we're gonna see if that makes it easier. Hit add 30 seconds, there you go. All right, so we put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Let's see if this makes it easier. I've got to figure out how to anchor this thing. I don't really think it made a difference. Do you? Uh, a little bit. A little bit? You think it's a little easier? Okay. Now, this does come with two blades. So this is the larger blade. So it makes a bigger fry. Um, and then there is one. another blade that makes thinner fries. So what I'm doing with these is once I get enough, I'm going to be putting them in vacuum seal bags and using our new uh, vacuum sealer to package them and put them in the freezer. So then whenever I want them, all I gotta do is get them out and they're awesome in the air fryer. I actually went ahead and cut some up and I've got them cooking, they're almost done. And those are the sweet potatoes. I've got both white and purple in here. I'm gonna have some of these for lunch. And I just make the sweet potato, the, make the french fries and then I add a little salt and then I put them on 400 degrees for 15 minutes in the air fryer and they turn out really good. <laughs> Well, that didn't work out good. Now, most of the time, I think I probably should have made this either a little bit bigger or put a little bit few less in there just because they are kind of clumped together and it works better if you put them separate. The other thing you can do is make them and put them on a cookie sheet in the freezer for about 10 minutes um, and let them slightly freeze before you package them. And then that way they don't stick together, um, which these ones probably will. So I'm gonna change that. I forgot that step. See, I make mistakes all the time. So I'm gonna actually put them on a cookie sheet and pre-freeze them and then put them in my... Um... So we found out that these uh, smaller pouches from Cabela's um, seem to work really well, honestly. Like I said, I'm really the only one that really likes sweet potatoes in this house. So. Single serving. And then we got the bright idea that this big monster can do two bags at once, since they're smaller bags. And it does a double seal, I think, doesn't it? This one, this one actually double seals your seals on your bags. So it vacuums and then it double seals, which is really nice. So we just got this one. It's our new vacuum sealer, our other one we wore it out. Test them out. Okay, uh, which one? I don't care. Yeah. They're hot. Did you put salt in pepper? Yeah, on? I already put salt on them. 
Did they, did they pass the test? Mm -hmm. But with sweet potatoes, you guys have to know, they aren't going to taste like a normal fry. They taste like a sweet potato fry. They, 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 taste, like, they taste like a sweet potato fry. I mean, there's not really a <laughs> taste to compare it to, so. Maybe another sweet potato. Yeah, maybe. Uh, uh, yeah, and, and it's, it's, it's sweet potato. 